Time lapses were shot on this machine, the Anycubic Viper. It's a budget friendly 3D printer at only 350 US dollars with a ton of features. You get a great size build volume, a PEI coated spring steel removable bed, truly automatic bed leveling, dual Z axis lead screws with independent end stops to ensure the X axis gantry is aligned, a responsive touch screen with a great user interface. Filament runout detection, dual gear extruder, and one of my favorite features, a volcano style hot end, enabling you to push the print speeds well above most machines in this budget price range. The auto bed leveling is done by the nozzle touching the build plate and triggering this switch here on the hot end mount. I've seen similar systems on Creality's new CR10 smart printer, and it seems to perform quite well on that machine too. You may have noticed a little damage to my print bed here. While I was printing via OctoPrint, I went to live adjust my Z offset and the value jumped up and down sporadically, causing some damage. So I recommend fine tuning your first layer height while printing off the SD card. Print quality is phenomenal and I saw no Z banding on any of my prints thanks to the dual Z lead screws and built in anti backlash mechanism on the Z axis nuts. Anycubic was also kind enough to send over some of their PLA for this review and I was really impressed with the quality of their filament. They offer a bundle when purchasing this machine, so I'd highly recommend picking a spool up. In terms of ease of use, this printer took next to no tuning, and the first layer calibration was super straightforward. Whether you're a beginner looking for your first machine or an experienced maker looking for your next machine, this is an awesome unit that won't disappoint. Special thanks to Anycubic for sending this machine in exchange for an honest review. I'll leave a link in the description where you can see more details about this printer. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing!